Hi guys, I am here with my third video and I am going to be showing you the Frostbite Isle. It's going to be Frostbite Isles because I am creating in this video also another small couple of islands around the outside or the beginnings of them which I'll have finished for the next video to show you. Um, well yeah, this is Frostbite Isle. We've got a very interesting shape here. As you can see from the bottom, it really looks pretty strange. and you can barely see the tower actually through the clouds but you can kind of make out that there's something up here so you think well let's go and check this out and actually it's a cool fortified house which I've left the inside blank because I wanted you guys to tell me what you want us to do on this because if you leave some comments um, I'll be building the inside it's just a hollow cylinder at the moment but um yeah so that's the aisle and I'm gonna begin the next one which I will be using world edit for the first time on this server apart from the aisle of course right so I'm gonna oh sorry Right, so what we're going to do is Bios, uh, Biosphere Stone 3, and we're going to create our island with this. So I'm just going to kind of bring it around into this sort of shape here, and it's going to basically dip at the middle. So in this middle section, Too far down. I'm just going to quickly fill this middle section. And this is kind of a tutorial video now because I'm showing you how to do this because it's actually really simple. It only takes about 10 minutes to do that whole island over there. And I'm tired, so. Right, there we go. So we've got this kind of interesting shaped island here, which, as I say, dips in the middle, so it's kind of a... Oh, really? Sorry, bad lag. There we go. Right. There we go, that's better. Here, building in the dark. And in any other weather than sun. So we've got this island here. And I'm gonna just on top smooth it down as much as I can, but then we're going to type in a yeah, smooth six. I have six. Six by four. So it flattens out the top of an island. So you can just build on it if you want. I, I'm not really going to. I'll just show you how to do some cool little features for it. So there we go. Now, we're going to have to place a block that's to one side of your island and higher than it, and another block block far to the other side of your island that is lower than it, so it's if you went from block to block, you'd cover the whole island. Right, there we go. I'll just delete this because we don't want to create overlays for this. And... Now you're going to go and go lower than the island. So from this point here, I'm going to do it. Then you're going to build down. Then you're going to build along. I know, sorry, it's taking a while, but don't worry, it will be worth it in the end. Because it looks pretty crappy having just stone everywhere. And if you want to create kind of natural stuff like coal that you'd find, I'm going to show you how to do that in a second actually. I'll do that first. So you can type pause one or h pause. I'll do h pause. So slash h pause one. So that says to your first position. Then you go to H plus two. 
and that's the two position set. So now what we're going to do is replace stone with stone. Oh. Replace stone with stone. Um, we could say coal, iron, diamond, gold, redstone. You can do whatever you want really. Ah, cool. Not actually a block name. So now we just have to do replace stone. Sorry, this didn't need just stone with stone. Um what did I say? Iron gold red stone diamond. So right. <laughs> I think you're actually gonna have to put all names, but you get the idea, I suppose. Um, so I'm just gonna undo all that shit. right now. Go here, and you are going to type double slash um overlay. So overlay like that, and now we're going to just type dirty symbol. Then you're going to go double slash overlay grass to create a nice layer of grass on top of that. Then we're going to go replace dirt with dirt and stone separated by a comma. So it gives you a more natural look instead of just having, you know, like the dirt all in a perfectly flat layer, which wouldn't happen. Right now we're going to have tree big. I'll do a big tree. Tree big. And now plant that there, and you know, so you've got a couple of trees. Just right-click where you want your tree, and it will create some cool trees. I'm going to have six trees. And then there you go, you've got a pretty awesome island. Random floating island. Sorry about the little mess up I had with the replace tool, but that was the island tutorial. And I hope you enjoyed it because it's great to put in your build. I mean, really, it looks so cool. And since I'm in a snow biome, you may think, well, that doesn't fit. Well, if you look up there, it will because if I simply. Um, turn the weather on to snow. Really? Well, I don't know. I don't really use the other commands apart from turning off what's on. So, I'm just gonna wait until it snows because we're in a snow biome, so it does that all the time, nearly. So, it, when it snows, you'll get a lovely layer of snow all over your island eventually and on top of your trees, and it'll give it a perfect biome look to fit in with what you've already done. And I'm just going to go and see what else we could do with this because by the next video I will have for you some more islands created because I'm gonna go and do that soon so I've got plenty of islands, floating islands so it's the proper isles and that will complete our sky for that but um, I'm gonna probably in future tutorials be finishing the city or tutorials or just videos of finished things I'll show you all about the city which will take ages to create though. So, thanks for watching guys. Please, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it really helps us. And I need to try and get more views, so please do that. Right, thanks for watching. Bye.